You can use MailDog's SuperList to create a subscriber database with up to 25 fields of information stored about each contact. The SuperList is especially handy if you don't have a way to manage your contacts internally, or if you'd like to record and monitor subscriber activity, like bounces, opens, and clicks over time across campaigns. It's a very different type of list than a regular MailDog list, so let's have a look at some of its unique features and functions. First off, it's easy to get started creating a SuperList. If you have a SuperList-enabled account, you can upload a rich list with email addresses and up to 25 custom fields of information. You might find that creating labels for each field is a good way to stay organized. You will want to keep the fields consistent each time you upload new lists so that each field is always used for pertinent data. These fields will not only let you look quickly at the rich list data stored, but also give you a handy reference for personalizing emails. A key distinction between the super list and a regular list is that you don't mail directly to your super list. Instead, you perform queries using a variety of advanced controls and then export mailing lists to your account based on the parameters. All subscriber behavior is then tracked in the super list for analysis and segmentation. Let's learn more about how the super list works. After you've uploaded your super list, you can preview it at any time. Simply click Preview Super List. Your preview will open in a second window for viewing. The preview only displays the first 1,000 results, so you'll want to use the Advanced Query module to query or search for more specific information or download the entire list. You can edit or delete an individual record in preview mode by clicking on the email and then making changes to the record. Be sure to click Update at the bottom of the SuperList record edit window to confirm any individual update or deletion. The Advanced Query module also allows you to segment your list in a snap. First, just review the fields in your super list and see which you want to include in your query. There's even a drop-down menu of a bunch of handy preset queries. Let's take a look. Next, perform a custom query and select the radio button to either count, show, or download the results. Click Submit for your option. When you're ready to send a mailing and need a fresh list, you need to export a query and save the list. The Export to Mailing List feature will count and prepare a text file with the results of a custom query of your super list. Be sure to select the query fields you need, then click the radio button Export to Mailing List and enter a list name in the box. Click Submit and the list will be generated and found in your default list folder in your account. You can schedule your campaign right to this list. One idea to consider is that the Obtain Email Only Query option will restrict the query by removing the additional data displayed online or downloaded to a file so you only get the email addresses. If you're preparing a list for mailing and know that you don't need the rich list data, then you can also use this tool to generate your mailing list. After you set your custom query, just select the radio button next to Obtain Email Only and proceed with your query as usual. Need to add a new subscriber? You can do so either by uploading a rich list or by entering in the data individually. For individual subscribers, click Add New Record, then simply fill out the form. Be sure to click the Update button at the bottom of the form to save your new entry. Of course, you'll want to be able to upload new subscriber data, too. The Add slash Append controls will allow for easy upload of data into your super list. Prepare your file using the correct format and pay attention that the new subscriber data will match the order of the fields currently in use in your account. See the Rich List tutorial for more information on creating rich lists. Editable custom database fields will enable you to add or modify the field names for the 25 entries in your super list. When you're ready to expand your use of the fields, or just change your mind on what they should be called, you can tweak them using this tool. Click Edit Field Names and then simply fill out the form. Be sure to click the Update button at the bottom of the form to save your new names. Just remember though, that you may need to modify your lists if you're reorganizing your profiles to keep everything in sync. 
Finally, you can delete your entire SuperList, which will remove all email addresses from your SuperList in your account. Click Delete Entire SuperList button and confirm the deletion. There is no list recovery mechanism, so be certain before deleting. There's very few reasons why this is a good idea, so please proceed with caution here. Check out the video tutorial on advanced SuperList functions for more details.